Hey friends, it's Lisa here from Slow and Curious Living and today I'm going to be sharing with you four breakfast ideas. These are perfect if you, like me, are doing the full GAPS diet or if you are trying to avoid gluten or increase the protein content in your breakfast. Enjoy! So our first breakfast idea is a really simple one that I like to do whenever I am short on time. And as you can see, all I'm doing here, I am adding some kefir, homemade kefir, some berries that I defrosted the night before and one banana. And then just simply blend all that together and it makes a really nice, tasty, slightly tangy smoothie, which I find is perfect for those mornings where... I am really busy. However, if you have a little bit longer and you can spend a bit more time in the kitchen, this is another breakfast option that I really love. And it basically just consists of chopping up some veggies, whatever I really uh, have in the fridge I use. On this day, I had some onions and some mushrooms, chopped those up, added them to the pan, and then I added some tallow that I rendered and then I prepped a quick side salad. Now this is lettuce from our garden. It's so tasty. I love it. And this will just be a fresh side for our eggs, which I'm going to be adding to this soon. As you can see, I'm adding some more tallow here because I think I decided that I didn't have enough of it in the in the pan. So I'm just adding a little bit more. And here go our two eggs from our lovely hens. I love how orange that um, yolk is, as you can see. Quickly seasoning my salad, some lemon juice, olive oil and salt, some homemade sauerkraut is also added to my plate. And then I try not to cook my eggs too much. I'm still working on that. I think it's I think we're supposed to try and eat the yolk kind of as uncooked as possible, but I'm still working on it. And here's the final plate, looking good, fresh and relatively quick. And it really keeps me full for hours. Then another really quick option is leftovers. So this is some chicken soup that I'd made the night before. And then on this day, I just decided that I couldn't be bothered making uh, breakfast. So that was that was it. Moving on to the last of the four uh, options I'm sharing with you today. These are just some really simple egg and banana pancakes. Now, since recording this, I've made this recipe a few more times and I actually found that if you add a couple pinches of bicarb of soda, the pancakes actually turn out way more fluffy. So feel free to add that to, to this recipe. And all I'm doing here is I'm adding two eggs and three ripe bananas and the process is so simple you just add them all in and then i'm going to be blending the bananas and the eggs until it's a very uh, smooth mixture that reminds you of pancake batter it's slightly it's not as thick as pancake batter but i find that you have to be a little bit patient with these pancakes they don't fluff up and they're not as easy to flip as normal pancakes because obviously we don't have that flour, we don't have that gluten. So you really need to be a bit more patient, which is why I like this as more of a weekend um, treat as opposed to something that I would do every day just because of you know all the sugar in the bananas. I know it's healthy, but yeah, this is more of a weekend uh, treat or even... Sometimes if I'm really craving sweets, I would go and have something like this. So I added some coconut oil to my pan. And then again, you just have to wait a little bit. And once you see some bubbles forming, you can flip them being very, very gentle while, while you do that. And they taste really nice. Once you get used to the fact that there's no flour or gluten in these, they do really tastes so nice and so sweet and there's no um, honey added or anything like that because we're just going with the sweet um, sweetness of the bananas and here you go I'm plating up the pancakes and I made a very quick compote using some berries from the freezer I just cooked them down really with a little bit of water on the stove and that is our breakfast some lovely lovely pancakes 
So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.